Welcome to Sag season. And happy birthday to all the Sagittarius out there. Hope you're having a lovely birthday and really embracing your season. Now, this video, you don't need to be a Sagittarius because like I say, probably in all my videos, when the season changes, that's like you went from rain to sunshine. If you, you know, from darkness to light. And that's exactly from Scorpio now into Sag. Mm -hmm. And Sag is beautiful. It's beautiful, it's bold, it's free. It's expands. It is, you know, it's, it's a divine energy to be in. It's wonderful. It's fire, it's passion, it's creativity, it's finding your dreams, your goals, and actually feeling optimistic and really embracing that. So let's get into it. Sag is ruled by Jupiter. Jupiter is a planet of expansion, um, optimism, growth. So now that you've been in Scorpio season and had to deal with some conflict, painful scenarios, like Scorpio like hits hard, it hits to the heart, you know, and you have to let go of certain things in order to transform. And now we're in Sag, the season of expansion. And where in Scorpio, you kind of, you know, in the ocean, deep in the ocean bed, <laughs> you're now out and you have to think basically outside of the box because that's what Sagittarius does. It's your perspective on issues that happened previously is now where you're actually allowed to gain perspective on it, to grow from it. It pushes you past your comfort zone. How do we expand? Is to make us feel uncomfortable so we want to change. Um, in, you know, if you know any Sagittarius, they, all of them, they're different. Some of them are reserved, some of them are quite out there, but they all are out there in their own way. If they have a creative passion, or um, creativity or something they believe in, travel or seeing things, eating, whatever the, the thing that actually grabs hold of them and that's their passion, it's kind of actually is where you really see them come out of themselves. And that's what the season is about. It's about coming out. It's about really being free. Being wild and free. I mean, the Sag image is like a per it's a person with a bow and a horse. It's very symbolic. Horse, why? Horses are wild and free. A uh, bow, setting your target to go. But the thing is sometimes about Sag, because they also are fire energy, they tend to have a lot of things going on. It's like they got this going on, that interest and that hobby, and that's what they actually do for a living and socializing but then they have a lot going on but they also have this way of withdrawing because sometimes they can get quite anxious which means we're gonna feel anxious during the season how that would work is like where you feel confined and feeling confined creates anxiety in Sag because it's like I want to be free to be me um, I have this goal I want to accomplish but how do I do it when I'm feeling so confined and that feeling confined creates internal conflict and the internal conflict creates anxiety and the internal anxiety can sometimes being it a fire sign come across as you know, like you know blunt or you know with some anger there temper it's hot it's fire so you know expect that that's the season it's beautiful it's about it's very outgoing networking you know it's almost like you're doing more than one thing at once i gotta do this i gotta do that all of a sudden your to-do list seems like a lot of things to do and that's sad i got these goals i need to accomplish them um and i got all these things to do but whoops this thing comes up that thing comes up the distractions and then that's where we actually start feeling confined because wait a minute i got the goal but now i'm feeling confined and that's when anxiety hits so 
very, very beautiful energy, but you need to be able to channel it. And how do you channel an energy of expansion and growth? You basically embrace change. You embrace the places where you feel you want freedom. So this is a time where people will want to be naturally more free. Free in the way they work, what they do, how they do it, their relationships, their interactions. They don't want to feel held back. They want to actually be more out. It's a time of information. Sagittarius being ruled by Jupiter also is about education, information, um, learning, exploring. So it's all of those things that make up Sagittarius with the with the movement of going from place to place of the actual trying different things. It's the experience of things that's learning and informative for themselves and for others because they will pass that information on to you. That's what Sagittarius does. It'll pass the information on. And that's why they make such great teachers in that aspect. It, I mean, sometimes people don't even notice that ability within them to be such great teachers because they house information of various things that when they actually speak to you about, you'll be like, oh, wow, <laughs> you tried that? Oh, okay, that's really cool. So they're all about exploring, expanding, and now's the time for us to embrace that. Now's the time for us to explore and you know embrace our freedom. After our Scorpio season where we had to let go of a lot, heal a lot, acknowledge the parts of ourselves and look to basically our inner spiritual being and work with our own energy of letting go, of releasing, of finding out truths about ourselves and others. Now we have the opportunity to like, okay, now I know this. Okay, I know it. Now let me see a different perspective of it. How do I channel this energy for me to be free to be me? That's the path of growth. It's about going through things and actually channeling that energy into something to transform you and to grow. And that's Sag. It's all about that. It's all about that creative energy as well. Things you're deeply passionate about um, and actually move you, move you really move you like Sag is not just about movement of in like you know from this view or going from this place to that place it's also an internal movement of the soul so when they find something new when you find something new some new information you actually move it actually moves your soul where you actually feel oh it actually changes how i feel and understand what just happened and it's moved me in a different direction so allow for that transformation to happen allow for it to you know make you become more free to be yourself you know it can be a time of anxiety i mean you know to be a true self sometimes we're always afraid of how the world may perceive us and that creates anxiety and also with all this expansion information coming through to us our energetic field it can create some heavy heads like a heavy head or a headache because now you're getting all this information and all this new understanding of things so you know just embrace it embrace it take the time out when you need the time out to rejuvenate i mean that's one thing also you know and Sagittarius can be very much doing various things, but they also sometimes will just withdraw, <laughs> just withdraw <laughs> and go into their own space. And that actually helps them refuel. So use that to refuel. Take as many breaks. Take as, Sometimes you can be taking 10 breaks a day, <laughs> but you need that. You need that because of everything that's coming at you, all the information. It's a it's ruled by Jupiter, so information. And another thing that happens a lot in Sagittarius season is the gossip. <laughs> oh, yes. You must know it's a sign ruled by Jupiter about information. Now, look here, you can use that knowledge and find out various things and go visit a new place and, you know, awaken to something new or go to a new shop, a new restaurant, and you, or meet someone new and discover something new about that person and then yourself and your perception. 
you could be giving into the gossip because gossip is also information. You'll be hearing things about you here, you'll be hearing things about you there, and all that's creating all this conflict around you, and you're like, whoa. <laughs> it's time where people want to express themselves. It's Sagittarius season, so the expression is in the forefront and information, information about everything, people, not you know, just saying things. That's what comes about. So try not to get dragged into that. The new moon is on the 26th. In Sagittarius, it's a very prosperous new moon. Um, it is going to be basically about success, victory, um, want to start a new business, networking, meeting new people, interacting with new people, socializing, learning new things. But also you can take it from one aspect and just that aspect and also use it in a way to cultivate it when it comes to success of yourself and what you want to accomplish as well. And then we also have Mars opposing Uranus. Mars is in Scorpio and Uranus is in Taurus and they're opposing, right? Now, if you know anything about Mars, it's quite hot. It's angry. It's determined. It's powerhouse. It's going to take action. That's Mars. Action. This upsets me. Take action. <laughs> this is challenging. Take action. And then we got Uranus and Taurus, which brings chaos. Uranus is the plant of chaos. Chaos, and what do I mean by chaos? Change, change. So you'll be going down this road and poof, something is coming up in your way and now you can't do that no more. Or you'll be like, okay, this relationship and I are so cool. We're so together. This work situation is so together. And then all of a sudden, it just changes where someone says something or something happens and that creates a change, a chaotic change. That's the change. Or it's a disruptive energy. It's a disruptive energy. So the energy is all about this channeling of wisdom, empowerment, and being motivated. And that's why it's like this new moon is win or lose. <laughs> that's how it is. It's like win or lose. Right? Are you staying focused on your goals? Are you moving forward with those things? Or are you giving into the disruptive forces? Disruptive forces is like, I got a goal. This is what I want to do. And then somebody comes along and um, they change my plan. <laughs> It's disruptive to you. And that can be aggravating. Mars, aggravating anger. Uranus and Taurus, chaotic change. Your goals that are all coming through with the Sagittarius and Jupiter because you have all these ideas that you want to expand on. So those are the two, well, not two, like the thing, the planets basically, the influences that are coming through for us right now and it's so important for us to just take a deep breath take a deep breath and if there's something you really want to do do it it's that simple you want to do it do it i mean before i did this video i supposed to do it on a few days ago but everything kept coming up but here i am doing it so it's so important to understand that things do come up and that's the energy of the new moon that's the energy of wanting to accomplish what you want to accomplish, but being challenged. And you still need to do it. Just do it. Do what Sag does. Be free. You know, just present it, you know, and give it your best. That's the most important thing. Because your message or whatever you want to create for others is important. There's going to be somebody somewhere that you're going to touch in some way or form. No matter what you do. You could have an office job. It's fulfilling a task that's meeting other souls in some sort of way. Every single thing that you do is connecting to others. And that's the energy of Sagittarius. It's not just about the self in a sense in that way. Because it's like what I do matters. And what I'm doing that actually matters is connecting to everybody else. So if I'm working in the office and filing and doing these things, what I'm doing is helping this person. And it's going to help whatever clients we have and so forth. So it's like full circle. See that expansion of energy, how you actually seeing how things are impacting the role that you play. And even though you might be challenged and feel irritated, and that's the feeling too that comes across in the new moon. Irritation, intense you know, anger. It can lead to even impulsiveness because now you're angry and you're just like, you know what, to hell with it. Let's do nothing. <laughs> you know, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't give up on you because you still want to be you. You still have the goals that you have. So do that. Follow your heart. And thank you for watching.